Hello there. Um, I started to correct the image, and then I realized I might as well just show you exactly what I'm doing here um, with the photo. I Just looking at the, the plain old RAW file here, just getting the preview, it looks pretty sharp. The only thing that caught my attention is, is I'm using my finger to point, and <laughs> I should be using the mouse. Right around here, it looks like that the, the, the focus is the most sharp right here on the zipper. Now that doesn't mean that it's out here because it could be, it's very close to the same plane of focus. Um, I am sure you focused on the eye. It, it looks sharp as can be in the eye. Now when it comes to sharpness, I, I'm very, I'm not heavy handed on it because with this, with the quality glass uh, and, the, and the raw file, you should be able to get straight up sharp images. And we'll talk more about that in a minute. But to, to get it in the Lightroom, usually I have it in a folder and I just drag it straight in uh, to import it. And here we have your image, and I can see that it was shot at, what's that, 1 500th of a second at 3.2, 200 ISO, um, which is good. I mean, that's a fast shutter speed. It's going to allow you to handhold it at whatever you uh, need to handhold it at. Um, so that that's fine at, at 3.2. I mean, it's plenty sharp. I mean, it's plenty sharp to begin with right now. So I don't know what is going on, why your images aren't looking sharp when you get it out of DPP. Um, there may be an export setting. If you check an export setting, that may pull back on the sharpness. But let's go here and, and, and go through how I would develop this um, and, and explain it. So we have contrast. As you can see, if you pump it all the way up, it kind of blows out the highlights. And if you watch the histogram, you can see that it's blown out all the way over here. In a histogram, you know, this is a whole another science, but you want to see even patterns across. So as you do this, you see how it shifts back towards the middle, but obviously that's really flat. I don't always go by the histogram, but I pump up. I'm very into contrast, so I pump it up a little bit, and let's see what the blacks do. You know, you put the black levels up. You don't want to be too harsh with here. I usually stay in the range of between 5 and 10, depending on the image. Um, and the exposure is very good. Uh, it's nice and, and, and poppy. I can pull back a little bit, but I don't want to go too far. So, you know, it, it's I'm going to pull back a little bit, pump my contrast again, just a slight tinge. And let's zoom in here. You see how sharp that is already? The clarity button is something that it's another form of sharpness. If you put it all the way up, it takes all the dark edges and things like that and really makes them harsh. So you see a lot of people doing very harsh things, but it's a, it's a baby. You know, you want to pull back the other way. Uh, I don't go all the way back, but look look what happens. You can make it really soft and glowy, which is, you know, it's a gimmick and it takes away all the harshness. But if you move it up just a little bit, this is this is at 0. I usually come back just a little bit. You know, it, it softens people up. People love when they see themselves. And this isn't anything, you know, that's wrong, like major airbrushing and stuff. This is just a way to soften it up a little bit. So you can see how sharp it is right here. You know, I can even pump up my contrast just a little more, and that's sharp. And I have a general sharp, sharpness setting set over here that I click that it's just my general go-to. Amount was 45. The radius is 1. The detail is 39, and the masking is 70. Um, I can go into more detail another time, uh, do a whole video on just this, but but this is a very sharp image. And one other thing that I wanted to do to the image was make a virtual copy, create virtual copy, and let's see what it looks like in black and white. Now, black and white is a whole other ball game. I pump my contrast way up for this. And let's see if it works, because some images just don't work. And this one, it's close. Let's see. Let's see if I can make it work. And here, when you do black and white, you can pull in a lot of a lot of tone, a lot of black, a lot of thick level layers, levels, whatever you want to call it. And watch what happens when you actually move your color temperature. Your your image actually is affected just like you can change the color. So there's that. And we'll zoom in here. It's still, I mean, that's tack. And we'll just jump back and forth one to the other. There's your color. There's your color. There's your black and white. 
And it's just a matter of, uh, you know, what you like. Uh, I like the I like the color. That's very good. Pull back even a little bit more. My screen may be a little brighter than, than yours, but this is, you know, let's just look around. All right, that's nice and out. I mean, I that's as sharp as can be. You're, you, it's, it's tack. It's right on. And both eyes are nice and sharp. Um, so when it comes to exporting, there's always a couple of options. You can export it. What I normally do if I'm going to print is I leave everything all the way up. Um, I leave it all the way up, and I leave, and I don't do any extra sharpening. Because remember, if you're going to send these out to make prints, the machines usually add a little bit of sharpening. So I just hit export, and that's going to take a couple seconds up here. It's going to export your file. There it is. Boom. Here it is, it's 11.5 megabyte file, which is a huge JPEG file. But, you know, there you go. That That's a finished, sharp as can be, nicely composed. I love this, right here. I love how you didn't cut off the hand there. That is awesome. That's like rule number one. Thank you very much for that one. All right, so that's that. And, and really, I hope this helps. I hope that answers your question. I just did great job. That's it. Great job. And if you look down here, look how sharp the eye is right there. It's tack sharp. So it must be a setting in that computer. Try using Lightroom. And, you know, these were the settings right here. So let's see what you come up with and let me know um, if you have any other questions. All right. Thanks.